Discover the fascinating world of the Adams Family, a TV series from 1964 filled with interesting, surprising, and sometimes sad facts. Did you know there are lots of lesser known stories about the show that you'll find interesting? Also, who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in the series? Share your favorite memories or experiences with this famous show in the comments below. More interesting details are coming your way. The Addams Family, a TV series from 1964, mixes sitcom elements, funny sounds, and funny scenes with social commentary. It's about a weird family who doesn't fit in with society in the 1960s. Led by Gomez and Morticia Adams, they do things their own way, which is different from what most people do. Gomez, who loves old British customs, adores his wife Morticia, who loves him just as much. Their relationship and their strange home are what make the show funny. While the Adams family enjoys being different, other people try to make them change. Characters like Uncle Fester, Lurch, and their pet thing do weird stuff that's not normal. But despite their strange habits, the Adams family manages to live their lives in a unique way, showing how different they are from the perfect American family you see on TV. Compared to other similar shows like The Munsters, The Addams Family is smarter and breaks away from typical sitcom cliches. It makes you think about what's normal and celebrates being different. In short, The Addams Family isn't just a show for fun, it also talks about the past and encourages people to accept each other's differences. If you haven't seen it, give it a try to enjoy its funny jokes and important messages. The Addams Family, famous for its memorable characters, originated from Charles Addams' imagination. He never officially gave them names, but when the TV series started in the 1960s, names were needed. John Aston, who played Gomez, picked his character's name instead of Rapelli. Originally, the son was going to be called Pubert, but was changed to Pugsley to avoid certain meanings. Additionally, Lenny Weinrib, a well-known voice actor, played many characters in the series, leaving a lasting impression on how it sounded. These decisions made behind the scenes helped shape the beloved series and its lasting influence. The Addams Family television series, which aired in 1964, is notable for several interesting facts. In 1935, the show's star was engaged to actress Toby Wing. During their courtship, he often signed autographs backward to impress her, which sometimes confused fans. However, their relationship ended due to differences in temperament. The year 1935 was particularly difficult for him due to personal losses, including his father's death and his mother's refusal to release his childhood earnings. Across generations, members of his family have collaborated with actor Christopher Lee. For instance, his son and granddaughter appeared alongside Lee in The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Additionally, he and Lee shared the screen in Gremlins 2 The New Batch. In the series, Pugsley's bedroom door features a distinctive detail two baby vultures painted on it. These elements add to the unique and memorable aesthetic of the show. The Addams Family series remains a classic example of dark comedy and eccentricity, capturing the imaginations of audiences for generations. Lurch showed off his musical talent on the show, skillfully playing a Krupnik harpsichord. Throughout his career, he acted as a father figure to Jodie Foster not once, but twice. Their on-screen chemistry was best seen in the Disney comedy Freaky Friday, where he played her father. But they also played father and daughter in another project, showing their skills as actors. Apart from their shared roles, they took different paths in portraying the Adams family. He played Gomez Adams in a live-action sitcom, while she voiced Pugsley Adams in an animated series in the early 1970s. Interestingly, it's said that Grandmama Adams and Granny Frump were once high school classmates, linking their family histories. These connections show how the Adams family's influence spreads across different types of entertainment. From sitcoms to animated series, their unique charm continues to captivate audiences of all ages, leaving a lasting impression on popular culture. The Adams Family TV series, which aired in 1964, featured a cast with diverse lifespans. John Aston, who portrayed Gomez Adams, holds the title of the longest living cast member. Aston outlived even the youngest cast members, Ken Weatherwax and Lisa Loring, who played his children, Pugsley and Wednesday Adams, respectively. Ted Cassidy, famous for his role as the butler Lurch, had the shortest lifespan among the cast, passing away at the age of 46 in 1979. Apart from the Adams family, John Aston made appearances in other notable shows. He reprised his role of Otis Campbell, Mayberry's Town Drunk, in a 1991 video by country singer Alan Jackson titled Don't Rock the Jukebox. 
Additionally, Aston was featured in an episode of Perry Mason in 1957 titled The Case of the Garrulous Go-Between. The Addams Family, a renowned 1964 TV series, featured memorable characters including the Wicked Witch of the West, ranked four on the American Film Institute's Villains List. In the series, the statue Indian chief was notable for always having lit cigars. Additionally, a Broadway musical adaptation of The Addams Family premiered at the Lunt Fontan Theatre on April 8, 2010, starring Nathan Lane and B.B. Newworth. When cast as Uncle Fester in the TV series, Coogan was 49 years old and facing financial difficulties. The end of the series in 1966 marked a turning point for him as he never experienced a lack of work again. Despite the fact that most of his later roles were minor, he remained active in the entertainment industry with numerous television and film appearances. Coogan's knack for dealing with hecklers during his performances by hurling witty insults back at them eventually became a hallmark of his act. This approach, which audiences found more entertaining than his prepared material, was integrated into his comedic style. The unique interior decor of the Adams family home was directly inspired by the first impression the producers had of Charles Adams' own apartment in New York City. Unlike the dilapidated and sparsely furnished interiors depicted in the original cartoons and later movies, the show's set design featured an eclectic mix of furnishings. This choice reflected the producer's desire to capture the essence of Adams' personal style and the eccentricity of the character's living environment. In the 1964 TV series, The Addams Family, composer Vic Mizzy Triple overdubbed his own voice to simulate a trio for the theme song due to Filmway's not wanting to pay singers. The show's backstory reveals that Gomez was originally engaged to Morticia's sister, Ophelia, in an arranged marriage. However, a few days before the wedding, he met and fell in love with Morticia, marrying her instead. Gomez has a peculiar habit of checking the time by looking at both his wristwatch and pocket watch, which always show different times but average out to the correct time. These quirky details added to the unique charm of the series, contributing to its enduring popularity. In The Addams Family Goes to School, Pugsley is eight years old and Wednesday is six. However, in Morticia and the Psychiatrist, Pugsley states that he is 10. During the filming of The Wizard of Oz, Carolyn Jones, who played Morticia, was accidentally burned during a special effects sequence. She returned to the production under the condition she would not have to work around fire again. Ironically, when she died, she was cremated. In a February 2019 interview on Gilbert Gottfried's Amazing Colossal podcast, John Aston admitted that he and Carolyn Jones were immediately attracted to each other, but kept things strictly professional. He said it fueled the chemistry between Gomez and Morticia.